Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a little while. This is what I said in my last video and I'm saying it again. So please forgive me you guys. I thought I was ready to be consistent again, but honestly, I just needed more time. But time has now passed. It's been like a month and I'm so sorry to keep y'all waiting for a new video, but here we are. Since it's been so long, I figured I would do like a little life update Q&A. So I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and answer them. The first question is, how do you relax? Honestly, I like to relax when I enjoy my space at home. Having good food, having a glass of wine and putting on a good show to me is relaxing. I just like to chill and like enjoy my own company. So to me, when I'm able to do that, it's super relaxing. The next question is, how do you stay fit gym routine? Y'all, I think I said this before, but I've always played sports growing up and then I was consistently going to the gym. This past like month and a half, I've not been to the gym once because I haven't been in my routine. I'm just not gonna get back into it. So you guys ask my routine, like I'm gonna start incorporating more gym videos and showing you guys what I do when I do go to the gym. But a lot of it honestly is just eating right, moving around constantly. And for me, shape wise, like that was just genetics. Like, thank you to my parents, thank you to God. That's how that happened. <laughs> Someone asked, am I still planning to visit Nigeria in December? I really want to, um, go in December, if not this year, then sometime next year. But if I can get enough of my homegirls to go with me and let's do like a group trip, cause I really wanna do a group trip there, then yes, definitely. Maybe go to Ethiopia again and Nigeria. I don't know, like that's still up in the air. I really do wanna go though. Y'all will definitely see me again in Lagos sometime. So don't worry, I'll be back and I'm excited to go. Someone said, how's life been lately? You seem to be going out more than you usually do. I definitely have been going out more than I usually do, but I think it's because I realized in Houston, you can't make friends staying at home. So when I started going out this one, I started meeting people because you guys have to remember, like I'm not in Georgia where I know a whole bunch of people. Like I'm in a new city. I want to meet new people. So I have been going out a lot. Don't get me wrong. I don't like clubbing. I've been out a bit to the clubs, but it's not my vibe. Honestly, it's too much and it's, it's just not super enjoyable for me. So that's one thing, like I went out a bit to the clubs here and it's it's cool here and there, but it's not my vibe. Like me, I like to go out with the homegirls, us grab something to eat, a little drink and call it a day. But I really enjoy doing that because, I don't know if it's because like, I don't wanna be alone right now or like because I'm still in a new city, but I really appreciate like the time I spend doing things with them. So I'm not mad at it and I enjoy it. Like I haven't had a solid group of homegirls in like a really long time. So like I'm doing what's normal, socializing. Someone said, would I like to be a content creator full-time or maintain my nine to five? Honestly guys, my job at the agency is not a regular nine to five job. It's more so like when things need to get done, they need to get done. That job allows me to do more. Um, someone else asked me about waitressing, like why did I get that job and how is it going? And honestly, it's because I have so much time on my hands. I'm like, I might as well make more money because I have like goals that I want to achieve financially right now until I figure out like my full career path. I wouldn't give up my job for content creation because one, I enjoy working in sports and I love the people I work with, both my bosses and my clients. And two, because I have so much time to do other things that it's even spoiled me in a way where I don't even think I can work a nine to five right now. Your girl has been spoiled with this job for like three years. I don't think I could go to a normal nine to five. I mean, I could if I had to, but like, preferably not. Someone said, do the ballers keep a professional or at times are there instances of unprofessionalism. Y'all, all my clients are super respectful. They're never unprofessional with me. I'm never unprofessional with them. It's like we're friends, but also I technically work for them. So no, never has there been instances or like unprofessionalism from any of at least our clients towards me. So I really appreciate that from the guys and they're just great guys all around anyway. So we never really have to worry about that. Someone asked me, how's my relationship with God? You know, I actually feel like it's been getting much closer. I feel like I'm really learning right now in life, like how to just let go and let God and like completely put faith in like what he has planned for me and not what I have planned for myself. So I feel like I've been getting closer to God and really that's like what I've been learning lately. Like that's 
my main lesson as of now. <laughs> this question I got about like a million and one times and the question is, am I single? Let me just clear the air you guys, me and Moses are currently not together. I didn't really want to like announce it or say anything about it until like we both I guess had time to process it ourselves because once it's on the internet it's like you, you can't even have the time to process things yourself really. You just kind of have to like hear everyone say something about it. But I'm sure you guys have like seen little things here and there or things that have indicated that we're not together and that's just the case and there's not much to really say about it. Some things is meant for us to keep to ourselves but at the end of the day like it was a great relationship. Um, there's no beef, no bad blood, like we're still cool. I also want to clear the air. I don't know where you guys got this narrative that I cheated because y'all just took that and ran with it after hearing whatever whatever and that is definitely not the case. Don't even know how y'all would think that I would do that. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. If y'all don't know my character, just say that, just say that. We're cool, he's doing his thing, and it was a really good relationship. There's not much else. I'm not gonna like speak badly about it, so. And to bounce off of that, like a lot of people were asking about my mental health, which is super sweet. And I'm doing a lot better than I was like a month ago. Obviously like still up and down to my emotions, but I think right now like I'm really figuring out detachment and I'm realizing that like, what I want in life is not necessarily tied to a person. It's just what I know I want. That's really been like helping me, you know, not feel super down for too, too long. Cause like I took a lot of time to process my emotions, process my feelings. Cause I really wanted to like sit in it for a while because it's better than letting it drag out. Like I just want to do the mature thing and like deal with my emotions as they came and I was really feeling them heavily and I'm really ha happy that I did that because like now I feel like I'm able to, you know, not dwell over something terribly. So set my emotions, I feel like I processed it and I just really have come to the conclusion that like what sometimes is like super upsetting is not necessarily like the person in general, it's sometimes like what you thought it was going to be. But I know that like I'm gonna get like what I want in life, like I'm gonna have a family, I'm gonna get married, all of that, like it's going to come to me. Like God only takes away to replace with better. So like that's really been like helping me not stay in the gutter. But I feel like I just started like getting back to myself. Like in all honesty you guys, like my apartment has been a mess since I moved. Some of you guys also asked like, did I stay in Houston? I go back to Georgia. I'm still in Houston because I lived in Georgia my whole life. I kind of want to like see what it's like living in a new city. And this is the age to do it because I'm still young. So I'm here for at least a year. We'll see how it goes. I was saying like my apartment, y'all, like it's been a mess. Like I still have boxes, like stuff has not been put together. And that has like been putting me in a funk, I realized. And it's just now that I'm like, okay, let me like snap out of this. Like it's time to get my stuff together. So I think even Moses is gonna come help me like he helped me put my bed together. He's gonna help put my dresser together soon. Like I've just been sitting and like it unfinished and now I'm like okay it's time to take care of myself like come on Sabs, come on Sabina, come on Sabalola, it's time to get back to it. So I just started like really starting putting my apartment together which will be my next vlog hopefully like you guys will see like that process and yeah. Before I was just like functioning like doing like what I needed to do but I wasn't like taking care of myself I was just sitting on my emotion but like now I'm starting to like take care of myself again. Someone said do I think I would make my next relationship public. I honestly didn't have an issue with my relationship being public. I think that I would never be one to want to hide my relationship, but I would definitely like keep it more private because I realized that like, honestly, the impact it had on me was when things go south or obviously a breakup happens, it's hard to, when everyone knows about it, it's hard to just deal with that on your own. Cause now there's like a lot of voices or like, you feel like you owe people an explanation. And I don't think I want to experience that again because like I'm already experiencing it from people that, that know me. Then it's like you add all these people on the internet and it's like, whoa, wait, I don't even know what's going on. Like I want to process it. So I think I would keep my relationship. I wouldn't hide it, but I would keep it private. Somebody asked, do I regret or do you regret moving? And will you wait till marriage to move in for your next relationship? No, I don't regret anything for my relationship. Like I said, it was a good relationship and I, think that I would not wait till marriage to move in, but maybe I would wait till I'm engaged. Like I wouldn't rush moving in again with somebody else. Somebody asked, are you dating again? I think I'm still like chilling right now. It's kind of like, I know that I'm young, 
like I can act young and turn and whatever, whatever, go on dates. But it's also kind of like, I'm in a crossroads of like being young and also like being serious. I feel like I've learned so much from my past relationships in general. Like I don't have many failed relationships left in me. For me to be like really seriously like dating, like it has to be like something special, like really special. And I've learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I like, what I don't like, how it feels to be loved. Like I know what it feels like. So like, I'm glad I experienced all of that. Hopefully my next, will be my last. <laughs> Somebody asked, do I ever do I ever see myself marrying an Abisha and would I prefer that? Love you, love you too. I can see myself marrying an Abisha, like honestly y'all, I don't have a type when it comes to like nationality, ethnicity, whatever. Like I just want a guy that's gonna love me, treat me well. My type doesn't come from ethnicity or looks necessarily. This still gotta be attracted though, but it comes more so from like character and personality. And I know people say that, but like honestly with me, it could be the best looking person and if you don't have a good character, you don't have a good personality or no integrity, then there's no point in it. I'm not gonna be happy in that. Someone said, when should you realize as a woman that you need to move on from your significant other? I mean, I think there's a lot of signs. I think the main thing is like when, when you're not wanted anymore, it's like don't stay in places that you're not wanted. That's a sign to move on. Like, what's the point of staying upset about something that you can't change. Somebody asked, what's one thing about your character that you're working on? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me think for a second. Um, Y'all like, not to my own horn, I have great character. <laughs> I don't know, like I feel like the things I can say like I would work on on myself aren't necessarily like character flaws. It's just like traits. There's some traits on myself I could work on, like keeping up with some people or I interrupt people when they talk sometimes, it's a really bad trait, things like that. But I don't think I can think of something that has to deal with characters super easily off the top of my head. Somebody asked, how do I see myself in five years time? Hopefully I'll be engaged. Um, hopefully I will have found a career path and be successful, have decided on a career path that I really want to you know, invest time in and will have started being successful at it by that time. You know what, like, I really am, it's hard to say where I see myself in five years. I know those are things that I definitely want, but it's hard to give like specifics. Cause like when I say I literally right now feel like there's no point in me making super specific plan at the moment and just letting God, that's literally how I feel. So like now it's like when people ask me, it's like, I, I don't even know <laughs> what I thought two months ago is different than what I might think today and it might not be what's gonna happen so I just know what I want in life in general and hopefully by that time five years like I'll start to see those plans come to fruition what's meant for me will happen for me and what's not will not somebody asked do you believe in love still yes y'all I believe in love like there's definitely some days where I'm like oh my gosh like is there such thing as pure genuine love that lasts but then I'm like, yeah, there is. Like, I'm, I know there, there's people that experience it. Like, I will exp I've experienced true love. Like, I've experienced love, obviously. And I'll experience it again. I don't want to give up on that. Like, I don't want to start thinking bitter. I have to believe that because if I don't, it's going to change my outlook on people. Someone asked, as someone that overthinks, how do you control your thoughts? I'm also an overthinker, but I'm also super self-aware. If I start to overthink, I'll try to catch myself and just remind myself like hey your mind is going down a path that you're making up on your own at this point so don't let that happen so right now when i overthink i just have to let it go just let the situation go because why overthink about things that you have no control over there's just no point you're stressing yourself over something that hasn't happened somebody asked why don't you film as often anymore i hope you're good yeah i'm good literally I just wasn't filming because I was getting my life together. Like I said in my last video, I can't fake it. So like if I'm just in a funk, I'm in a funk. And that's just been the case. I haven't wanted to pick up the camera or I'll forget or I haven't been consistent. I wasn't taking care of myself basically. So since I wasn't taking care of myself, like I didn't want to show you guys anything. But now it's like I'm taking care of myself, getting back to routine. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like getting your mojo back. So I'm just getting my mojo back. So now I could definitely start filming again. I just had to get that back, get my routines back because it's so much easier for me to pick up a camera and vlog when I have routine in my life. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You guys will definitely be getting more content very soon. I know I said it last time, but like, Forget, give me some grace on that one. Like, give me just like a little bit of leniency, okay? But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it'll be like my apartment tour and like everything like such. Bring y'all on the journey of like decor, decorating. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you.
Sabina, 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 Sabina,